Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to review the Arteza Everblend Alcohol Markers. I've had quite a few requests for this and I've actually had these markers for a couple of months, but I'm just now getting around to review them because I wanted to use them a little bit more before I gave my um, my thoughts on them because I know it's, uh, it's an expense when you're looking at investing in markers and there are so many markers out there right now that it can be kind of overwhelming. So the first thing I want to remark about from this set is that it comes with a really nice case. The case has a shoulder strap, it's got a like kind of like a carry handle like a purse would have and on the back it's got a zipper pouch that you could put like extra cardstock or um, maybe a piece of plastic or something for like coloring on so it, your stuff doesn't bleed through. I don't know whatever you'd want to put in there. You could probably slide your phone in there I suppose but if you have your the, the bag packed up pretty tight, it probably wouldn't just because, you know, it could get cracked. Um, there are swatches that come um, on the little the little zipper pull here. I left it on there. Um, I don't know if I really, if they're that useful or not, but I figured it would be handy to have just have that little color key there. So let's open her up. There are some latches on the front, and in addition to that, there's also a really heavy duty Velcro closure. These latches can be expanded and um, there may be reasons to expand them because there are some extra slots in here. So uh, there's also, you can leave it upright like this. You could store them flat and you could put them on a shelf flat if you wanted to, to keep the both ends of your markers inked. Um, there are Velcro wings on the side that keep it upright or you can lift them down so that you can flip through them, which is what I usually do when I'm using them because even though the, you can use them upright with the with the wings closed, it's very difficult to put the markers back in the little loops if you do that. So I have arranged these in kind of blending order so colors that blend well together I just put next to each other for my own use. You can see how they kind of nest together and they don't take up that much space and I was able to put a like a little 6x8 sketchbook in there, maybe 6x9 sketchbook in there. Um, but there is another row of 12 loops here if you've got some other pens and markers that you want to add. I heard and I, I sent an email to Arteza a couple days ago and I haven't gotten word back but if it does if I do get word back I'll put it in the video description I heard from another youtuber that they're coming out with a set of grays and uh, flesh tones so or earth tones so um, that's why I think they probably have left this set blank so let's take a look at the actual colors you get I always think it's a good idea to swatch them yourself so I swatched these I kind of grouped them together a little bit in blending order and then uh, after I had my swatches down because I went by the color caps to kind of arrange them then I when I put them into the the slots I put like the markers next to each other that would blend well together so for instance um, like I would put um, like that, that, and that next to each other because those three blended really well. You know, I would kind of group things as it made sense to me. So speaking of blending, I did do some blending tests here and I got pretty good results. Uh, the purples I had trouble with because I did that purple, that purple, and that purple because they all have the same undertones and it was just too big of a jump. I did not blend, but I found if I did that one and that one, those two blended pretty well together. These other are three blend, um, three blend colors, like I did these three together and they blended really well. I did um, that, that, and that. I think it was just those three right in a row. Those blended really well. I did those three together. So the thing you're going to notice on your collection of markers is you have a lot of vibrant colors and uh, some pastel counterparts to go with them so you can do a three color blend uh, which is really important if you're doing like um, realistic coloring or your rubber stamper. They have uh, they don't have a lot of neutral tones and they don't have a lot of grays. The grays are difficult to blend. I did get this this three color blend here which would have been good for doing like a I don't know like a little woodland animal or something but it I really feel like you kind of need some more grays and definitely some more earth tones. So um, that would make sense if they are coming out with more grays and earth tones. Now as far as refills, I heard from the same YouTuber that mentioned, I can't remember who it was, it wasn't somebody I typically listen to, but I was um, I was searching for reviews on these. Uh, I also heard that they're coming out with refill inks, like the bo like bottles of ink. I can't, I don't have that confirmed yet, but that's what I heard. And I will, when I find out, I will let you know in the blog post and in the video description. Uh, but they do have refill markers. However, the catch is you have to buy four of a color. So I'm hoping they might change that a bit and offer one of a color or offer a blending, like, 
trio or something instead of making it for the same color because I just I can't see how that would be useful for anybody unless they're teaching a class like if I was de teaching a class we're gonna color we're all gonna color poppies then okay maybe I would order bulk you know the reds and greens and stuff we would use but other than that I don't think that that would be very useful so uh, so that that would be my critical my critical thing about these markers so let's take a look at the markers themselves I'm just gonna grab a red one here and move this out of the way really like the case though I think the case is um, is probably the highlight of these although the markers do blend in color really smoothly um, but they're also a little bit more expensive than other comparable markers I will say like like the Artix markers the Ohuhu markers um, you know you can get 80 markers for about $40 in those lines uh, the uh, classic Bianos are a little bit uh, run same price um, so I think you're really paying for the case on this one but if they do offer refills and offer replaceable nibs and that sort of thing then you know it does make your investment your investment pay off a little longer so that's something to consider so I'm just gonna set this aside and just kind of grab my little clipboard here oh, I want to show you some of the things I colored with these and I'm just gonna zoom in Woo! there we go um, so I did a video on these if it's not up yet it will be up in the next couple of days but these little ATC's artist trading cards I made they were all colored with the Arteza markers I thought they blended really well I thought there were a lot of nice bright color options like bright to pastels you I guess I would say more saturated color options um, but if you're trying to do earthy tones it doesn't you know you just don't have the you don't have the colors there to do many earth tones so keep that in mind if you are doing like Caucasian skin or like house mouse faces little cute animal faces stuff like that would have a really pale skin that that's fine because you have three different shades of like really light peachy colors but to do a, a darker skin tone I think you're gonna have a hard time blending like you can see my little uh, samples there where I was trying that so let's take a look at this marker what you have is a chisel and a bullet the bullet nibs seems to be a little bit larger than what you typically get here and I'm holding this up to the camera just so that uh, I can have it this is as far as, as I, this is as far in as I can zoom upstairs in my office so that's the fine let me see how fine I can get on the chisel I can get pretty fine on the chisel though and then you got the you know different chisel widths so you have a good variety of um, of widths there I find it colors really smooth when I'm doing stamping I'm generally using the bullet end and the bullet end is not as stiff and scratchy as other brands which is really nice um, and I can still get into the details that I want to get into I do find if I'm blending a large area like doing a blending patch like that I would use the uh, the chisel edge they're not loud and squeaky and scratchy I'm just gonna grab a spectrum noir marker just to, to compare or let's see what is this this is spectrum yeah let's see here so you know what no it's about the same size the nibs are about the same size it's maybe it's a little longer or something it's your standard bullet nib. actually this one is a little bit finer um, so you know I, I think they're just as good as any of the other bullet chisel markers on the market they certainly do lay down color really smoothly I'll grab my swatch again so you can see that There's my blending paint. yeah the color selection I think is really nice this would be a nice um, marker kit to have on the go like if you're gonna go to a crop or to a friend's house or to a stamping convention and you you know you just want a, an assortment and you'll be able to color a lot of different things this is a great selection because you do have like you know you do have reds and corals and pinks and uh, teals and greens and yellows you have cool yellows and warm yellows oftentimes the cool yellows are lacking um, you know you have a few neutrals I really would probably throw some extra neutrals in if I was going to take this uh, and have it as my only markers maybe get one of the neutral sets that are on the market and I mean that could be a situation where maybe you pony up a little extra money and you buy a neutral set of a brush marker so that you could have that you know easy skin tone blending and you you know put that in the case with your uh, with your Arteza markers um, you know the quality is good they I think they run around uh, 60 to 70 dollars they've been on sale around 60 with like a coupon code uh, which I'll put in the video description um, so you know you're paying you're paying under a dollar a marker you're getting a beautiful case but still it's more than like the Ohuhu or the Artix or the Banyo uh, chisel 
bullet tip markers. So, you know, I, I think right, I think it comes down to, you know, do you like that case enough to spend the extra money? Do you um, want a brush tip or is a bullet tip fine? You know, those are the considerations when you're looking at this set. The inks do blend well. Um, I find that most alcohol marker ink is similar. Because the bullet tips feel a little softer on these markers, I do find they blend a little easier than some of the markers that have a harder tip. So that's something to, to consider as well. The caps are pretty easy to go on and off. Uh, so that's nice. If you have any hand issues, you shouldn't have a problem with that. Comfortable to hold. They're not going to roll off on your table because they have the triangle or barrel. I want to show you uh, putting them in and out of the, uh, the case here. The way I keep mine is um, I keep the bullet side down. So the bullet sides, you know, those all have a band on them. And actually the the bullet end has a um, is, is the same color as the ink, which is nice. Their caps are not that bad. Um, as far as indexing, they're, you know, they're not perfect. No markers have perfect indexing caps, but, um, but they're pretty good. When I did all the coloring for my little coffee ATCs, I just used the, the caps. I didn't, hadn't swatched them out yet, and I just colored by looking at the ends of the marker. So, you know, it's good enough for that, but it is definitely a good to have a swatch. So if you're coloring on something, you can really see what you have. But, um, you know, they're not too difficult to take in and out. They're very easy to take out. To put them in, I just give them a little wiggle and then I can push them through. And then by keeping the um, bullet tip down, which is what I'm typically going to use these for when I'm coloring stamped images. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, that's just going to make sure that the finer, the finer end always has plenty of ink. And generally that's the one that would want to dry out quicker because that's the one you use more, the most and it's, it's smaller so it's not going to let the ink wick down quite as quickly. So. So there you have it. You know, there's room for a sketchbook, which I really like. There's room to stick your swatch in there, a pocket on the back. The case is really, was really wonderful. I'm not sure if they sell the case by itself. That would be nice if they do. I think maybe if they come out with some other, um, if they come out with some other versions, like they come out with a gray tone and a flesh tone, then they probably ought to come out with a, just a, a spare case. I know they have a spare case for their, their skinny markers, like these guys here. They have like a 96 case for these guys, uh, which is very similar. I don't have it, but um, but it, it looks to be very similar. Uh, they've got plastic latches, but they're they're pretty sturdy. I don't see them breaking, but there's redundancies because if anything breaks, you've got this latch, you've got the Velcro underneath there. So I really wouldn't worry about about the case one bit. I would say if you need markers and you like this case and you want 60, go for it. Um, they're not quite as good of a deal as the Ohuhu uh, or the Banyo, but you know, they're, it depends on what brand you want and what color selection you like. The, those other brands are going to have more neutrals and more grays. You might not want the neutrals and grays. So look at the color selection. Um, I'll scan my swatch and put it on my blog when this, uh, probably a day after this tutorial hits YouTube, so you'll be able to see. And you can decide for yourself, but they're, I mean, I, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend them. Just whether they're right, or right for you or not is something you have to decide. So uh, I hope it was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, happy crafting.